this is just a quick power curve on this particular system as when it's producing 20 kilowatts. Uh, usually, it actually, it'll cut in around 8 miles per hour. And at 20, it'll be put in uh, actually 27 miles per hour down here, be 20 kilowatts. Uh, my friend California actually said his puts out a little bit more, actually puts about maybe 24 kilowatts up there. Uh, but for me, it's more of a cost savings. You know, I went refurbished, I'm paying you know, five grand a year. I'm looking at a four to six year payback uh, for my investment. And, uh, and again, there are incentives to do this, other incentives. Uh, Maryland Energy Association, the last July was a $3,000, you know, they give you money, you know, grant money. That's just going to pay for shipping the stuff out here from California. But since July, they actually upped it to a max of $10,000. So I'll get $10,000 because I have 20 kilowatts. I'm already maxed out, so I'll get 20. And then there's some federal write-offs on 3%, and there may be some other write-offs you can do. But uh, I'm looking at, you know, right now, a 26 k investment. Uh, the foundation for me is going to cost around 5k and probably a couple k for the uh, electrician, so it's not too bad. But uh, it's probably going to provide, you know, probably 90 percent or more of my power, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I don't have to necessarily change things too much around my house to save. I'll save power if I can, but I don't want to change my lifestyle. You know, I want to save money in my pocket. Uh, this is just some information on the inverter that we have. And Smeco likes it because it's, you know, it's, but power back is 95% full load. Uh, this is the system. It's actually, uh, it's pretty interesting. The, it actually has feathering for the, for the blades. And actually, if it gets too much wind, the, the tail will actually point it off the main wind front so it slows down. Uh, as for how much wind can this thing take, is it going to blow down in a hurricane? Uh, for right now, the tower is sighted for about 90 per, 90 per hour uh, wind speed. The turbine can take actually 120 mile per hour winds, but it doesn't make sense because the tower is already going to be on the ground. The turbine would be so it doesn't make sense. Anyway, that thing can take like 120 at least the turbine itself. Um, Basically, the generator on this thing, there's a gear that comes down here, the generator is right here, and you have basically three phase power coming down to the base of the system. Uh, we call it wild AC because of different RPMs, it puts out different hertz rates. And what the inverter does, uh, you basically take this three phase power and you can.